Better to die fighting for freedom than be a prisoner all the days of your life, Bob Marley once said. Better to die for something that most of us were granted at birth. Most of us. Today I want to tell you a short story of a young boy named Ivan. Nothing big, just a short story of an ordinary boy. Ivan was born in a country which was since 1990 referred to as free. Ripped away from the Soviets, Ukraine, like many other Eastern European states, seemed to be the mecca of advancement and democratic rule. Ivan was born with freedom in mind, believing that he can speak and write all that he thinks about without fear. He grew up in Kiev and for years observed his nation, living through the time of poor living standards and economic disrepair. In 2004, he witnessed the Orange Revolution, in which his father was taken as a political prisoner. When the opposition finally took power, the family was reunited and for six years enjoyed their freedom. In 2010, the men they've overthrown came back to power. Viktor Yanukovych became president. The Ukrainian part of the forever divided country was injected with fear. The man imprisoned the opposition leader Yulia Tymoshenko and continued to work on his ties with Putin's Russia and in 2013 refused to accept economic cooperation with the European Union. He even had no choice but to fight like his dad did, so he went out to the Maidan Square. There with thousands of others he protested against the decision, hoping for a peaceful resolution. Then the police and the special forces came and the shots were fired, killing three of the protesters. Even realized that his freedom was a mad illusion. He decided to fight. He fought against the police, fought for his freedom. His head was hit with rocks, Molotov cocktails blasted around him. The peace talks did not fare any better. When the opposition met to discuss peace with Yanukovych, the president ordered the police to use lethal force. Compromise was not possible. The revolution continued, many were taken as prisoners, they were stripped naked in the freezing cold, tortured and often went missing. Even was still fighting, no wanting his freedom, freedom in a so-called free country. He and the opposition did not give in and still fight today, being denied all rights if captured. Even knows what he is risking, he knows the price, it was paid by many in the blood-filled history of the country. I'm sure that this even is somewhere out there now on the Maiden Square. This even might have even been the one to take down the statue of Lenin too. I, I might have just imagined him, but let him be the symbol of freedom, the one fighting for it. Fighting for it in a democratic, independent nation. In a nation of delusions in which we all could have been born. With and without freedom. This with I wish for my brothers and my sisters in Ukraine, let their voices be heard. Let the freedom be granted for the blood and the will to fight, despite knowing the risks. This is for Maidan. This is for Ukraine.